Hi guys, welcome to my drama my life. So let's get started. So first, I will draw. So if you don't know what drama my life is, basically it's um a thing where you like get a chalkboard or something. And it doesn't have. It doesn't matter what size it is, but like you get a chalkboard and air. And you write out, like, you draw out your life. And it's okay if you're not a, a good a good drawer. I know I'm not. But, so, and, um, so basically, yeah. So you just draw out your life. So, like, if you want to do this, you can. If you don't, you don't want to, you don't have to. But, like, say if somebody got bullied at school or something, including me, I'm a victim. Um, um, but, um, bullied at school or something. And, and they were just, and they, and they wanted to draw it out, and that is my life. So you just kind of need, like, this kind of board. So, first, I will tell you about, so, so, first, I had this best friend, and, we were very, very close to each other. We really, really loved each other. But one day, she moved. And that was really, really horrifying. So I went on to middle school. And this is just me. And these are the other people over there just... Just like, I was just like in my own little bubble. And wow, I was just on my own little bubble right here. It was like I didn't even appear to nobody. And they're all, and they, everybody else was just in the crowd. And I was just to nobody. And, this takes forever. Um, I don't um, know. Um, and so I went on to middle school, and it was just like I went on to like all these other classes, but I was in no classes with nobody else. Like I was just um, the nobody that I suspected I was gonna be. So what what I suspected was people were gonna. People was gonna try to be nice to me. So I tried to talk to people. And they were just their own person in mind. And this is the other person who said this to me. But so I got really, really sad. Reset smile. And so I was just like a nobody. So that's when I started getting really, really sad. And in my own little nobody bubble again. And just really, really, really sad. So I just. I, I tried to make more friends than that one person, and all of them. And one person actually hooked on me, and actually wanted to be my best friend. So she moved. But that never happened. She's still my best friend to this day. And we did, did, I was not in my own bubble anymore, so. This is just me in my own bubble, and then she erased that bubble for me. And I was just, she, it was like us for men to be. It was meant for us to be together. And so we weren't like a line across from nobody. We were just our own person. And people tried to bully us. People tried to bully us. But, you know, we just, you know, just stayed true to each other and 
mind your own business. So, this is us. This is other people. Trying to bully us. And we're just like, <laughs> we're just like, hey, you know, get away from us. We're, you're, I don't like, we don't even, we don't like people who bully us. So we were just going to like be minding our own business for the whole day, for all the days of school. Other people didn't want to be our friends. And then we got this whole group together. Because then we like, we had this whole group together. But they moved. The two people moved. Hold on, guys. My dad's talking.